Happy Friday, everybody. We made it, barely. Do not adjust your television screen. Greg did not get more ridiculously good looking and taller. <laughs> it's really me, Pete Hegseth. And I know it's hard to believe, but tonight I'm the second most handsome man on the show. We've got my buddy Will Kane here. Oh. Yeah. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. I don't usually comment on men's looks, but you know, you got two thirds of Fox and Friends weekend tonight. Rachel Campo Stuffy said she'd rather give birth again <laughs> than spend <laughs> another minute with the two of us. That would be 10. That's right. Kat Timpf and Kaylee McEnany are here tonight. <laughs> so I guess that now makes me the fourth best looking person on the show. <laughs> Oh, uh, and also Michael Loftus. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get to it. As school starts again, so does the battle. That's because... Our education system sucks. <laughs> be on the lookout. The left is not stopping. They'll not be happy until school is just a bunch of illiterate eunuchs sliding down a stripper pole, yelling, America's racist. Those are castrated eunuchs, I had to look it up. No. <laughs> the language is hidden, the unions are dominant, the tactics are shifting, and your kids, you know this, are the target. We thought the war over school had reached its peak with COVID and critical race theory, remember that? CRT in your Zoom classrooms with a mask on? Haven't heard that in a while because the progressives have progressed. The way that locusts, progress or progress through a cornfield. In Fairfax County, Virginia, teachers are being trained to transition children's genders without parental approval. Yep, your kid's crotch is no one's business except the teacher. That's according to documents obtained by the Washington Examiner. Now, that's the newspaper, not the long-suffering saint who gives Gutfeld his annual prostate exam. <laughs> Saint Annual. Saint <laughs> Annual, that's right. <laughs> the training reportedly contained info on promoting equity in schools and how to respond to students who want to be called by a new name. It's not Will, mm. it's Jill. Mm. Wilhelmina. Get it right, Wilhelmina will do as well. Or they want to use pronouns that don't correspond to their biological sex. And again, they're being trained to do this by teachers without looping in you, the parent. Although they did give a heads up to the girls' middle school, uh, middle school basketball coach. The new starting point guard is now 6'2 and has a beard. <laughs> Jill's gonna be really good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the progressive radical leftists who know better than you. In their minds, your children are not yours. Now actually, come to think of it, that would have saved me a lot in diapers. <laughs> Truly. And remember, Virginia is a red state where a GOP governor was elected to fight this crap. But even then, the liberals and their well-heeled cronies in the teachers' unions, well, they don't give a damn. They plow right over parents, turning kids into collateral damage along the way. They may as well hire Paul Pelosi to drive the school bus. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Makes as much sense. Same thing, Kaylee, is happening in the free state of Florida where Governor Ron DeSantis is leading the charge to put parents back in charge. You'll recall the, yeah, right? Imagine that, parents in charge. You'll recall the ongoing court battle there where parents are suing their school district over their daughter's clandestine gender transformation. Again, perpetrated at the hands of the school behind the back of mom and dad. And it's something I personally worry a lot about. I've got something like 21 kids <laughs> that I'm aware of. But why do they all look like gray? I, I don't know what happened there. That is a creepy photo. But it's not just, uh, they even got the bangs right. It's not just K through 12. Liberals are making sure indoctrination will continue well beyond the halls of high school. Colleges across the country are refusing to hire candidates who just aren't woke enough. Their idea of diversity? are professors who like both Karl Marx and Lenin. Gotta like them both. They gotta prove they're committed to progressive policies and sign so-called diversity pledges 
and inclusion statements. Listen. Those of us who are committed to diversity and equity are hoping to slowly change the culture and <laughs> the environment by having more conversations on these topics, by hiring more people committed. We have increased the number of women and the number of people from underrepresented backgrounds who have been hired since we began using um, the diversity statements. Tanya is the one that wants to choose your future teachers. Basically, if a teaching candidate has the audacity to say he, she, they values merit above all else when grading students, they have no chance of getting hired. So the purge starts early. Like that time I drank coffee and a wheatgrass smoothie. <laughs> Will remembers that morning vividly. Add to that Biden's desperate cash for vote scheme of student loan forgiveness, so called. And no one knows how to, but no one knows how to forgive and forget like a man who can't remember what he had for breakfast. <laughs> now more young people will be incentivized to get a worthless college degree from a worthless woke college, knowing the debts will all be wiped out. Now that is a sweet deal. And you get to pay off their debt. And all the debt of your neighbor kids who majored in trans, non-binary, BIPOC gender studies of the Middle Ages. <laughs> <laughs> there is such a thing, I'm sure, go look who are now woke beyond repair. Little known fact, I too got my college debt erased back when starting an OnlyFans page was not an option. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Just wasn't an option. A very rich uncle paid for my undergraduate and graduate degrees, magically erasing all of my debt. All I had to do was be willing to get shot at in <laughs> countries. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Sam. I did Army ROTC for college, which paid for tuition in exchange for eight years of military service. Then after a combat tour in Iraq, I used my GI Bill money to get a graduate degree. Want federal loan forgiveness the old fashioned way? Put on some camouflage. But after earning that Harvard degree, I did, Will knows this, I did send it back. Yep. How are you doing this? Are you burning it? Are you no, sending no, no, it? No. You're gonna I'm, send I'm it? I'm gonna send it back. Okay, I got an envelope right. over here. Okay. Is your mom gonna be mad? Very mad. I don't okay. think my wife's gonna <laughs> like this either. Harvard University? Let's see, let's do that. Oh my gosh. Um, I think we'd go with uh, <laughs> critical theory. I think Will's University. having a harder time than your mom. I think we finish it off by saying return to sender. So far, no response. No. <laughs> no, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. The point is we have to stop propping up so-called elite colleges as the gatekeepers of credibility. I mean, Hunter Biden has a degree from Yale for goodness sakes. Stop funding them and stop going to them because if not, you'll, it's only to get worse for future generations. Diversity pledges, critical race theory, secret gender transformations, never-ending abbreviations that no one knows what the hell they mean. It's all part of the plan. But all hope is not completely lost. Case in point, what's happening in Nashville, Tennessee, where after backlash from parents, an elite private all-girls school is pausing its plan, for now, to allow biological boys who identify as girls from attending the all-girls school. What in the world could go wrong? And I have to ask, what if a biological girl at that same school decided to identify as a boy? Shouldn't they then get kicked out? I'm sure they wouldn't be because, well, diversity. It's all nonsense. So parents, as your kids go back to school, remember they're yours and yours alone, created in God's image, not the government's image. And like the good parents we are, let's give that education racket a permanent timeout followed by a spanking. Let's welcome tonight's guest. She's like a functioning cell in Joe Biden's brain, always outnumbered. <laughs> Former White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany. And he may look like Miley Cyrus. Kind of does, right? But that's okay, because unlike her, he's actually good at something. Founder of theloftusparty.com, Michael Loftus. <laughs> and he's such a Texan, the Alamo reminds people to remember him. <laughs> I love that. Co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend, Will Kane. 
And it's, and it's just too easy to continue. She partied so hard, her designated driver, Paul Pelosi. <laughs> Fox News contributor, Cat Tim. Great to see you all. It's fun to be king of late night for one night. Uh, thank you to Greg for giving me the shot. Well, you know what makes those stories all interesting? Nashville, Tennessee, mm. Texas, Virginia, not Oregon, not Washington, not Massachusetts. These are states where we thought we were rolling this back. Is this kind of thing in Texas? Absolutely. It is literally, as you point out, everywhere. I mean, there's going to be pockets of appropriately named resistance. And it's reaching, it's well past. We have reached terminal velocity. We've reached absurdity. You know, we like to make the slippery slope argument. How do you get more untethered from reality than a gender binary? It doesn't get any more. So I think at this point, students should lean into the absurdity. You know, of course, we've talked about transracial. What about trans intellect? You know, I identify as valedictorian. Once you're untethered from reality, there's really nothing they could do to bring you back. Where could we go with that exactly? Right. Trans anything. Is it? It's perverted, Kaylee. The idea that we're invading the privacy of middle schoolers and asking them about their, the most intimate aspects of their lives when they have no idea to even think about how to think about it or talk about it. And in some cases, elementary school. So yes. that story you brought up in Florida, detail that you didn't say uh, but is important is the parents didn't find out about their daughter's transition or alleged transition until two suicide attempts in the school bathroom. That's when they thought to tell the parents. And that's in Clay County, Florida, to your point. Mm -hmm. I'm from Florida, a conservative area of the state. Same thing in California. Go over there. There's a similar lawsuit by a parent. And the bottom line is these teachers think they are parents. I have news for you. I am six, almost seven months pregnant. I'm carrying this baby, not the teacher. My husband and I are raising this little boy, not the teacher. We are the ones who will be teaching this child about gender identification, about sexuality, not a kindergarten teacher. And I'm thankful we have a governor in Florida who ended this. But I'll tell you, they, they need to wake up because Virginia, look at what happened there. You pointed that out. Florida, this week, this Tuesday, 25 of the 30 school board members yeah. that Ron DeSantis was supporting won. Because you've awoken up, you've woken a, a very big sleeping giant, and her name's Mama Bear. And we're coming out, and we're about to I win. hope so. I hope you're right. <laughs> Michael, I remember the time when if I saw my math teacher in the grocery store as a kid, I'd be like, wait, I thought you lived at the school. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you had a real life. I mean, let alone talk about... Th them bringing up personal issues or personal sexuality. What happened to, we're just going to teach you how to do, you know, two plus two? I, I, I don't know. And it's, it's really odd. And when did all of this become legal? Exactly. Like, since when can a stranger, even if it's your kid's teacher, talk to them about sex and stuff? Like, if you did this in a Walmart, you would be arrested. Right. But yes. somehow, if there's an right. overhead projector and a worksheet, <laughs> it's all okay. <laughs> Right? Oh, the perverts across the nation will be so glad. Hey, look at that. Ah, I'll do that worksheet and get back to me. Tell me what you think. Uh, it's all horrible. People, know, we need to get back to some, uh, some old-fashioned uh, sensibilities in this country. I'm so, do you remember in It's a Wonderful Life when Jimmy Stewart found out his kid went home without her, her coat buttoned up? And he was ready to throw hands. <laughs> He's like, Zuzu came home. She's got a cold. You didn't have her wear her coat. Could you imagine Jimmy Stewart finding out? He could have calmed he, down about that. <laughs> right? <laughs> you tried to get my son to cut his wiener off. And he, the, there's going to be a throwdown. <laughs> You're right. We just, I guess, over the decades, we've just, we've... <laughs> <laughs> now you got me going. Yeah, you can't get over the Jimmy Stewart. Can't You're trying, over. yeah. It's a great impression, by the way. I'm not I'll even going to try. Uh, Kat, college tuition. You know, you've been all over this. This idea that we're going we're gonna to relieve kids of debt. How does that not just make the colleges say we're just going to raise our prices then? Oh, so we're not talking about genitals anymore. Gotcha. You can. <laughs> <laughs> that was all my talking points. <laughs> all right, new topic. Oh, new topic. No, no, no. You're no, a parent and you're kidding. No, it's really hard to be a mother these days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I was so looking around mothers. at this topic. I was like, children, 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 <laughs> children. None that I know of. Um, what if they did it to yeah. your cat? Well, they did my cat. Yeah, look. Okay, yes, it's absurd. I think the government just needs to, that they're involved in education at all. Because we keep having all of these arguments about what's right for the kids. And there really is no collective the kids. There, every kid is going to have an individual need. Every family is going to want 
different things for their family. And if you're a family that wants to send your kid to They Them Academy, go ahead. But they shouldn't have every school be like that. So I just think the government should, you know, be not involved and give parents more uh, choices, all the choices with their own kids. But right now, the government is completely involved. I they say, control I would say the entire inti thing. Intimately, yes. In, <laughs> one, one might say intimately. Yeah. And yeah. Jimmy Stewart objects. And no, and, and, <laughs> but, and yeah, and uh, a student loan cancellation is, it's actually stealing. It's absolutely it's stealing. stealing. So it's a yeah. transfer yeah. of money. Yeah. From yeah. money. Yeah. You're exactly right. All right, before we go, by the way, I know you're going to be happy about this. Greg is back on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You know you are. I am. I watch. He's got a great lineup. Buck Sexton, Molly Hemingway, Julie Banderas, and Jim Brewer all here. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.